My current thought on the state of humans is this. Across the globe by millions and now a after months of speculations, controversy and Caracas continues. Every animal in the world that hasn't been manipulated by man, and by that I mean dogs, but every animal in the world is born with the right tools for the job. Let me describe what I mean by that. A shark has very, very uh, jagged teeth so that it can eat other animals, well, you know, like sea lions or fish. And they do that around once a month. It has been known some sharks have not eaten them for 15 months. So sharks, even though they are a predator, they don't kill very often and they just kill when they need to eat. But yes, in general, they go four to six weeks without a kill. So they've got these very sharp teeth to do that. Let's look at a chimpanzee. A chimpanzee eats both plants and animals. In fact, they're quite vicious chimpanzees. I've seen a documentary on them and they literally will go grab a small monkey out the tree, rip it apart and eat it. It's disgusting. And you see my face the way I think, oh, that's gross. All right. That shows you temperament wise that humans are not supposed to be killing animals. Why do we get upset when we're killing humans? We have a court system for that. But if we saw all the food that humans were eating, if we saw them getting killed, that would put us off as well. And that's why it's kept from, from us behind the scenes. But this is the biggest genocide of my entire life with over 85 billion animals getting enslaved, mutilated and murdered and their entire life ruined because we are eating them. That is not myself included since I've become awakened, particularly in July 2022. I've not eaten any animals or any secretions from animals ever since. I started my journey six years ago, but it is since July last year that I have not eaten anything. Do I look sick? Do I look ill? No. Now, this is the point that I want to make. Humans have decided that they've got low self-esteem somehow, that somehow we are not born with the right physiology that we need to survive. So remember, every animal on the planet can look after itself. It knows what to do. Like a tiger has it in them that they want to go kill an, another animal to eat them. That's their personality. I've never wanted to kill an animal myself to go eat it with my own bare hands, my teeth. That's the point, right? I've never wanted to do that. Have you ever wanted to do that? Go jump on a pig and kill it like a lion might? Or go jump on a cow with your teeth and try to bite the, the cow's neck and kill the cow? Have you ever wanted to do that? I think if you have, you're obviously a bit odd, but I would imagine no. And with a lamb, when you see a lamb, do you want to go break the lamb's neck and rip it apart and then eat it with your teeth raw? No, you don't want to do that. But humans have decided that we must be inferior because we have gone and created implements such as forks, knives, ropes, fires, so that we can cook these animals and eat them. And chickens, they are very, very much used to be killed, you know, to be eaten rather. But again, if we were supposed to eat chickens, yes, I could break the neck of, neck of a chicken if I wanted. That is one animal 
slash bird that I could eat with, I could kill with my own hands. But firstly, if I see a chicken, I don't want to kill it. It's not like I don't have this urge to kill it. What I do have an urge is if I see a strawberry, I like I want to pick it and I want to eat it. If I see a blackberry or a bramble when I'm walking, I have an urge to pick that. I don't have an urge to go eat one of the birds in the park as well. So if I was supposed to kill a chicken, which I could do if I wanted, because I could break its neck. Yes, I've got hands to do that. I couldn't do it to a cow. I couldn't do it to a pig, but I could do it to a chicken. However, firstly, I wouldn't, I don't have the temperament. And if I killed the chicken, if I was supposed to eat chicken, I would eat it raw like the lion. A lion is a carnivore. However, if I eat raw chicken, I will get very, very sick. Wake up call, we are not supposed to be eating chickens. We really need to get right back to basics and start thinking about everything and not just going into auto mode and not just not just doing what everybody else does. And that's what an awakening it is. It's when suddenly you have a shift in your brain because somebody's told you something different to what you've been brainwashed or you've seen with your own eyes some stuff. And then you're like, it's like taking the red pill in the matrix. It's like getting to the truth and your life transforms. So we are not supposed to be eating chickens. And if I was supposed to eat a pig or a cow, I would go kill it with my own hands. And there's no great thing about eating animals. Like, it's not even good for you. Pigs are class one carcinogens, and they're proven to give you cancer. And whilst not every person that eats pig is going to get cancer, it's certainly not good for you. And a lot of people do get cancer, and that has been proven. Also prostate cancer from eating meat as well. Do you think lions get cancer from eating a zebra? No, definitely not, because that's what they're supposed to do. We're not tough eating meat. There's nothing masculine about it. In fact, I think what masculinity is, is somebody protecting the vulnerable, you know, protecting a lamb, not eating it like Hannibal Lecter. And... Yes, I think that's very important, very important, that we also need to look at the strongest animals on the planet and the oldest. So the oldest animal on the planet is a tortoise. They are 150 years old or more, but around that range. They eat plants. The strongest animal on the planet is an elephant. An elephant eats plants. So does a gorilla. And if we are from that family, you know, gorillas, we're not too dissimilar, right? They stand on all on two legs, just like we do. And they eat plants. The animals are getting it right. The non-human human animals are getting it right. But we, the human animals, are getting it wrong. And that is why I don't know why we have to think we are a lion. Why are we acting in this manner? It is absolutely insane. It is like the entire human race, and I include myself in that because I did used to participate in paying for the enslavement and murder of animals and eating them. I think we've been possessed by the devil or something like that. I just, something has gone drastically wrong with why we are behaving in this manner. 
protein, you get the most protein from plants. For example, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, they've got 33 grams of protein. There's, there's some en enguevest or engi yeast, I don't know what it's called. It's this yeast anyway. That's got 47 grams of protein, way more than any cow. Where do cows get the protein anyway? They got it from the plants. Just go direct to the source. Animal agriculture is the biggest cause of the climate crisis. Some people say it's energy. Well, let me say, when you're carting around and creating so much food, when you're cutting down forests to create soy, it's not for the vegans and vegetarians. Most of that is to feed the animals that then you're killing to eat. Seven, if, we, if, we, if we didn't have animal agriculture, 75% of the land that we're using could be used to grow more crops or to have biodiversity. And so we could get more oxygen back in the universe. And if you and some people might say, yeah, energy is the biggest problem. It's not animal agriculture, animal agriculture. Well, I say to you, if you're carting around all that food for the animals from continent to continent, if you're carting around all those animals and live exports or, you know, as imports to other countries as meat. That's using a lot of energy as well, as well as the energy to keep these animals, you know, to feed them and to water them. That's all energy too. And to put the lights on, the transportation of them on ships and lorries, you know, the slaughterhouses, this is all energy. If we all went vegan tomorrow, the entire planet, you would definitely see a reduction in the... Um, temperature. And that is the easiest thing we can do is going vegan to save this planet. Because we were supposed to be vegan anyway, from the get go. Our teeth show us that, our hands show us that. And the fact we have long intestines to digest plants which all the carnivores have short intestines. We, we're not built to be eating all this meat. And yeah, we're just causing immense suffering. A lion will go attack a herd of zebras. But a lot of the zebras will escape and it might get one. It might get one zebra. But that zebra has lived a free life. What we're doing we can't say, oh, well, animals eat animals, so we eat animals. No, we are raping animals to breed them, killing their babies and eating them. We are keeping them in cages. We are cutting their tails off and their teeth out with no anesthesia. We are cutting their balls off with no anesthetic. We keep them in their own excre excrement and their own urine, which burns them. We put hormones in their food to make them have more milk so they can't even walk properly because they've just got a huge udder of milk. We steal their babies off them so we can drink their milk and then the mother and her son or daughter never see each other again after day one of birth. We rape them every year and steal their children off them when it comes to cows. If it's pigs, it's a lot more frequent because pigs aren't pregnant for nine months like a cow. We take we do that to sheep and we, we eat their babies and eat lambs, cute little lambs. We eat them. And we are one step removed from what's going on. A lion will see what it's doing and will be involved in the kill and eat it. We don't see any of that. And this is the problem. We are one step removed. And this is a big, big problem. It is all kept away from us. This is a wake up call. You should be showing your children pictures of slaughter because all the other animals that eat meat see it, see it. They all see the kill. Why are you holding that away from your children? Let them see so they can decide themselves if they want to participate in this mass genocide of animals, this, this holocaust of animals.
Pigs are gassed every day in the world. In the UK, every day, pigs are gassed to death. This is disgusting. We need to, if we were supposed to eat pigs, we'd just see one walking past us and kill it ourselves and eat it, if we were supposed to. And if you look at the way the animal is presented on the plate, it's almost like it's a bread roll or some mashed potato or a piece of cake. I mean, a sausage looks nothing like a pig or even a rasher of bacon or steak. It doesn't really look like the animal, does it? Please start thinking about what you are participating towards. The planet is telling us that what we are doing is wrong. It's giving us a warning that if you don't comply and change your ways very soon, you're going to extinct the human race. Um, unfortunately, a lot of innocent animals who have done nothing wrong, they've been living their life on this planet for millions of years, actually in the right way. They're not causing the climate crisis. It's us. So the best thing you can do it's not wait for the government to do some climate change law. It's not that. It's just go vegan. I'm saving. Like, I'm doing so much for the planet just by being vegan. More than anybody who's not using plastic straws or got an electric car or, you know, um, buying secondhand clothes. What I'm doing is the biggest positive that any individual can do and that's going vegan not going plant-based going plant-based is very very hard because you can you can suddenly like slip but once you go vegan that's what that's because you've seen the truth i've been the lion now and i've seen what goes on because i've sat and watched so much footage for the last six years and researched it so i i'm very knowledgeable now on the processes and it it puts me off completely but going vegan is not is is not using animals in any way in an exploitative manner so that means i don't i don't buy animal skin <laughs> i mean what the hell was i thinking of going around like a buffalo bill from silence of lambs wearing dead animals on me oh and then going oh oh this beautiful handbag it's just like no, that's a baby that you just took someone's life for a dumb handbag. Oh, creepy. But I was so brainwashed, just like everybody else, that I thought it was a nice looking handbag. But really, it's the it's murdering someone who didn't want to die. Oh my God. Oh, so gross. It's so gross when I see influencers promoting murder when they've got these little cute dogs, but they're promoting the murder of lambs and cows by promoting people to buy certain brands of shoes. Don't fall for it, guys. Get some good karma. Start being more compassionate. You know, that's going vegan was the best thing that I ever did in my life. And I would say I'm a lot healthier. Uh, I don't have asthma anymore. I don't get migraines and I don't have like a an annoying kind of cough in my throat that I used to have. And I also lost a bit of weight as well. So, but mainly I'm just glad that I'm not brainwashed being ignorant and or arrogant about all those beautiful lives that I took away and they didn't even have a chance to escape because humans have created ropes and cages and lied to me by omission by not showing me the truth of the suffering they were causing so just and don't think oh well in the UK we've got high animal welfare laws that is so much rubbish like Remember, 30% of the meat is imported in the UK. 
So if you're eating salami, pepperoni, palma ham, buffalo mozzarella cheese, parmesan, you know, the list goes on and on. And frankly, their welfare standards are not too dissimilar to ours anyway. They're all bad. They're all bad. Uh, these animals don't want to get killed at a young age and they want to live a good life the way I treat my dog. They want that kind of life and that's what they deserve. It's mass discrimination the way we're treating pigs, cows and lambs in particular, but also other animals too. Anyway, there's today's little uh, thoughts that I've been having the last week. <laughs> 